Tapos, <laughs> parang nasa siguro mga third day pa lang, fourth day. It's gonna be like three weeks in Korea. But nasa third day pa lang ako and I was in the train station. Tapos parang nakaupo ako dun sa bench. Tapos I, hear this, I heard this voice saying, Hey, you can just stand up, go to the railing and jump. Hey! You can include that now. No? No, no, what I'm saying is, they got that out. It wasn't even dramatic. No, no, you can put it in. Eh kasi idol ko si Jacometi. Jacometi talaga. Talaga, talaga oh, tuloy na bakal eh. Hand forge yun eh, hand forge. Oh, oh. Yes. First time namin ginawa dito. Yung last person na tumayo. Yung hindi nakatayo na kami. Interview na to, ah. Lalabas natin lahat to. Ah. Yes, sir, Ganda, maganda. The, ah. the artist talk show. The artist talk show. Anong pangalan niyo, ma? Niyo, ma? Galeria talk show? There's nothing short about me. Wow. Uh, my, my real name is Long. It's Amanda uh, Ancheta de Lopez. So, my, my mom is from Cagayan, Tari. And then my dad is from Bulacan. So, <laughs> so, I mean, like, I have two sides in my Mapano, in Chicago, in Amendo. But now I reside in Santa Maria de So, after so many years, uh, finally we started residing in Bulacan. We grew up, we, I was born in Apari. So, Apari, I've been there. Gandarun? Mm. Used to. I don't have any quarrying. Sadly, sadly. Pati yung sand, yung black sand. Black sand, kinukuha. So, you, we used to have a really even though we have black sand, we used to have a very beautiful uh, shoreline. So, ngayon wala ng shoreline. Pag mga atras na, kinukuha nila, hinahalo sa bakal. Kinukuha yung black sand. So, pag naglakad ka ng konti, the most beautiful yung island bridge. That's the real end of the road. Kasi nandun yung dulo ng Luzon. That's really the dulo. The dulo of Luzon. End of the road. From kilometer zero. Pinuntahan ko yan for that. Ah, actually, there are many great um, uh, farm uh, mga kagapari na they, they left. So a lot of them, they are in the US, in Europe, and so on. Dahil sa quarry? Hindi, no. I mean, as they say, Ilocanos are wanderers. Uh -huh. But they never stay put. But I remember there was this photographer who who just visited a party and he, and he took photos of the beach, of different locales. And then on his, ano pa tayo early days of the internet, so on his blog, nagstart yung ano yung thread. Uy, bakit mo sao kinsin kinsin tinag nila yung friends nila? Became a very long thread of you know really successful and really parang kung bakit yung mga nakalis na apari pero they want to visit ganon mga nasa 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 alam mo kasi it's a small town eh ang ganda ay nga it's such a small town dikit pero grabe yung mga na-produce niya ng mga ah mga sikat to oh so parang and they're all looking back because of that vlog i'm not sure if it's still there pero nagano din ako doon eh sumasagot din ako doon sa vlog anyway so um eh medyo mahaba yung history ko because because uh i was a child painter so i started painting when i was in grade school and the usual art school, uh, Sunday art school. Tapos we had a very charismatic art teacher in school, so medyo yun yeah, na wili kami. So we started painting every weekend, so, uh, exhibiting also as kids. So I never thought of it as a career, diba? Pero something happened to me na kind of in hind on hindsight, it's very traumatic. Kasi, um, in one on one like uh, break from the Sunday school was our Christmas break. So usually kasi oil kami, oil, oh, oil oh. kami. Actually, wala ko nang alala nag-acrylic na sa Sunday school. Puro kami oil. Ano ba depresya ng dalawa? Hmm? Ano ba depresya ng acrylic sa oil? Well, well, not much. Maybe maybe I would say that. Ah, matagal na tayo. Aha. Kasi, oh, matagal siya, matagal siya matuyo, so mas matagal kang pwedeng mag-blend. Mag Ayun, yun lang ang sabi ng iba, matagal kang pwedeng mag-blend kasi matagal matuyo. Mas mahal, mahal yung gamit, tapos, pero I think it's, it's parang preferred by very, more like real, like, traditional na mga oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yun, talagang gagawa ka ng photorealistic na still life, na seascape, landscape, ganyan naman yung progression niya. 
until you go to portraits and so so anyway I was already on my my landscape pa lang I think I was on my landscape so parang I left it over the Christmas tapos pagbalik namin sa school no wala yung painting ko so so I thought oh, okay something happened to it I don't know I don't have any idea but I continued so I have seascapes it's good in landscape early early paint yun eh after yun ng patterns and colors yun eh so anyway so ano na second year high school na ako um somebody donated a painting to school sa guidance counselor's office and when it arrived, I realized that's my painting. Wow! So I found out, no, I found out what happened. One of my classmates stole, stole my painting. Either he consciously stole it or naiuwi niya, pero weird yun kasi may pangalan niya. So anyway, it damaged, wow. me. It damaged me so much that I stopped painting. All together. You can't front me. Why not? Yeah, yeah. To be my friend, there was no conversation. Ah. Um, I wasn't aware how damaging it was then, because I was, I was plastic. I was like, I, I graduated third in my batch. I was freshman in my batch. I was buying for the public uh, tutorial. So what happened was I, I was doing practically everything. Oh. So. Nas, ano, managing editor ako ng high school paper, nasa glee club ako, nasa math club ako, I did theater sa buluwagang gantimpala. So parang ang nangyari is because I stopped painting, I started writing, I started uh, doing other things. So parang feeling ko, baka, baka that's the reason why I ended up becoming a film director. Diba? So, so you're a film director right now? Well, I, I did a couple of films. I produced a lot of films. Uh -huh. um, uh, I directed My Rebound Girl. I directed Sabong Bangi. I, I, I produced Ang Pagta Talaga Ni Maximo Oliveros. I produced Somebody. So most of these films are on Netflix. Oh, pwede tayong ano? Pwede tayong mag-produce. And I also acted. So I have lots of films also on Netflix. I'm on Dead Kids, Emmys. I'm, I'm, I'm at least in a... Maybe if you search it, you can see it. Ibon Man? No, Eman. Eman. So, ah, it's not the Ibon Man. Now it's the... So, there's a story of Ibon Man. Ah, okay. Sir, so, so, okay, this is the story. So, I stopped. I stopped. So, but eventually... I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you. But eventually, I ended up... Um, ah! So, anyway, I took up... I took up... Um, no, no, when, when, so I was interested in the theater, I was singing on stage, I was performing, I was in Bulwang de Tipala, I wrote my first musical play at the age of 15. So, parang, parang, so, parang si Warhol. <laughs> wow. no, so I was doing this because something damaged me. I was trying to not affect my life. So this is really art therapy, no? So in a way, uh, in a way don't you yeah. believe I only painted again after 32 years? Mm -hmm. Because I didn't do it, right? It's only before the pandemic that I found out I was really depressed. So art therapy? I wasn't conscious, but I realized uh, the paintings that I bought from my friends, from my from my career, as you know, with ABS, with Star Cinema, I wrote Kela Ang Kita, uh, I'm credited with uh, a lot of films, uh, I did a lot of Tony Gonzaga's films and Judy Ann's. So, so active pa ako pa, ikaw ngayon sir, active ka pa? I'll tell you more about uh, later, yeah. because I remember the pandemic happened. Uh -huh. Yeah, during the pandemic, I have two Netflix films. I wrote Ikaw, I co-wrote, um, uh, what do you call this, I, I, I creative managed, ano, uh, Pangarap Kong Golda. So that's, the num that's the number one. We'll, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. That's the number one film, Filipino film of all time on Netflix. On Netflix so I did um, yeah, several several films during the pandemic. Even even though people stopped making films during the pandemic, I was working from home. So so ito na You're open for no for a job now. <laughs> If they, so, they want something, some project. No, I'm, do, I'm doing. I'm ah, doing, so I'm yeah, working, yeah. I'm working okay, on pala si sir. three Netflix, uh, two, uh, two HBO and one Netflix. Series. Yes. Wow, okay. what made you exhibit? Because you're already so busy. Yeah. Diba? No, that's the reason. So, I was depressed. 
I'm not sure if I told this the first time around, but I was in Korea. I got a grant with a friend, my director friend, we got a grant to a residency to scout for locations for our film, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm co-producing as creative, uh, creative producer. Tapos, <laughs> parang nasa siguro mga third day pa lang, fourth day, it's gonna be like three weeks in Korea, but nasa third day pa lang ako, and I was in the train station. Tapos pa nakaupo ako dun sa bench. I hear this. I heard this voice saying, "Hey, you can just stand up, go to the railing, and jump." Hey! Oh. You can include that now. No. No. Now what I'm saying is, he cut that out. It wasn't even dramatic. No, no. You can put it in. This, uh, this, is, this, is, this is. This might help other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't even like dramatic, like you know, like this voice. Or, I wasn't crying or I, I didn't feel turmoil. It was like this very quiet command that if I do that, it didn't matter to the world. Nobody would care. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it would be very, uh, it would be done very soon, very fast. Okay. So when I realized that, I said, oh my God. So I, I realized. This is not normal. And then I had, after that, I wasn't going out of the hotel room anymore. I was like keeping myself locked in my room. So there was really like a dark cloud, even though we were meeting with producers. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, busy, you're busy. So, so I, I'm, I know, I'm a highly functional depressive. So on the like outside... Like most of us, maybe. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> most, like, you know, like most artists. So on the outside, people thought, hey, such, he's having a great time. Yeah, yeah. Managing everything well. You know, but deep inside, I was, I was so tired. Empty. There's empty, emptiness. Empty and, know, and dark. Tired and, no, not even dark. Eh? Like what I'm saying is, it's not even dark. It's like... The sun, the sun is shining. Ka no, the sun ganun. is shining. What it's saying is, is parang yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a good day. It's a bright it's day. It's a beautiful good day to die. Parang ganun. Ooh. Parang ganun siya. Eh. Ooh. Parang ganun siya. So I I understood this because I had these thoughts back in high school. But but in high school I I I was still dramatic. I would call friends. But in a way that's the best way. You talk to people up so that yeah yeah, yeah exactly people, exactly. Diba? Kasi kaysa, kaysa yung feeling mo na, oh, they'll judge me. If oh, 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 no, 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 no. Now, they off themselves even before they spoke with anyone yeah. because they feel so alone, they feel so disconnected even from their own family. Even if, let's say, the family is very loving, hmm. still, there's hindi mo siya. May, may, like may emptiness, may emptiness. My mom, when I told her about this thing, not just the Korea, but when it happened, it happened. She was crying and I, I kept telling her, I, I feel bad, but honestly, you cannot do anything about it. And that you shouldn't feel bad that it's your fault. Because it's something you cannot do anything about. I have to be able to to get help and also work on it alone. Diba? So, parang, anyway, so the, 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 just to give you some light yeah. in this very dark... Naman tayo, eh. <laughs> just to give you some light and really, you know, so, so, so I left for Korea on the af uh, on the, the day after we moved into a new apartment. So my mom was really busy. Kasi nga, halos, hindi na ako nakatulong. Well, tulong ako sa paglilipat, pero I had to leave the next day. So basically, it was still in shambles, diba? So when I got back in time for my birthday, hindi ako agad muwi. I actually, no, no, muwi ako, pero we actually left for... For, ano, for a trip, a uh, birthday trip, and mm -hmm. a gift for my mom in the shop. So that was around November, so we went to Bantayan. So, so, so again, hindi, hindi pa ako nakapag-home. So anyway, nung nakabalik na kami ng bahay, we had a really good apartment. This was before the pandemic, so para, you know, I can still afford it. We can still afford it. But anyway, so we had a good tatlong palapag. We had really big blank walls, tapos parang, for a while, for how many months, we weren't touching the walls. Tapos one day na lang sinabi ng mga I think it's time. Ano, ay, hindi nga yung sinabi, I think it's time. Pero sabi niya, sasabit na natin yung mga paintings. I have like really huge paintings of my friends. They, they're quite famous. So I have like three, a good collection of works. Uh, Naran ako mga... Uh, uh, Leroy New. Basta, I, I had like... A collection. Anyway, so hindi sila nakasabit. It, they're just kept in the storage. 
It's okay. So, tumawag si mama ng, you know, ng helpers, tapos kinabit lahat ng baby. So, I'm supervising, but mostly it's her, like she knows where to put it. The following day, this is where something really weird happened. It's like I woke up, and it's like this dark cloud was gone. Oh, and the gone. only reason why I thought there was, that I was depressed, because for the first time I realized, this is how it feels to be normal. Feel that way. And largely, it's because hindi ko na sinasaray pinto ng kwarto ko because I want to see the words on the walls, on the stairwell. Totally, I believe my mom, without even talking to me, sent that once the paintings are hung, it will emanate so much joy and uh, I'm a trigger to do art. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Not even that, but, but it would, yeah, it, it eventually led to that. But, yeah. you know, just to just to bring me back on earth, just to bring me yeah, back. Yeah, on the ground. On ground. And, and yeah, suddenly my brother asked me to commission a painting from me. And then, so, so I started working. Pero kasi ang theory ko dati, eh, hindi ako makakabalik sa art. My theory before was that I have to go back to painting with crayon because if I paint with oil, I wouldn't be as good as I was when I was a kid. I have that kind of insecurity na I lost it. Alam mo yun yung sabi naman nila, di ba? Pag hindi mo siya pre-nactis, you lose it. Hindi, art is art. Maraming person siya niya. Eh. Oh. No, this is my strategy. Oh. So I said, I would do a form of art or any kind of art that I wouldn't have, I wouldn't fit myself against a rigorous, anybody. A rigorous standard. So I, I started exploring non figurative art. So I started exploring abstract. Abstract, yes. So the how, how, how much art do you buy? Yeah, um, how much art? Yeah. I didn't feel that money belonged to me. Aha, uh -huh, so I, binabalik mo lang so I, I felt that it, this was a gift. And it was being given to me because there's a lot of other artists who need it. Need it, yeah. I oh. would, because the most expensive would be fifteen to twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. But I usually buy from really young artists because to help them out. Because it's like in business, I'll just buy your art because it, it's double purpose. Eh. I help them and it boosts their confidence, the banana. So it's like a patron of the art. Yeah. Ang taas ng level mo, sir. Okay, kaya na, I art, salute you. Ang dami mo ka art work. <laughs> but pero anyway, when I started doing that, I realized uh, that, that, that's partly, that's really my goal. Talaga, yeah. Talagang ipakita na yung art making is, is a birthright. And it's also our way to, to solidify our community. Kung baga hindi siya dapat career ko lang. Or dapat ako, lahat tayo. Or ako lang. Kasi parang, it didn't, mean, it didn't mean anything when I was doing it in film. Why would it mean anything now if I'm doing it in art? It would still be the same. Right? In, in grid? In house, na ba si sir? In house. Yeah, yeah. 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 We go all the way. We go all the way. Huh? We go all the way. So when I started helping out, then I think I actually ignited several, well, not several, but at least two art collectives. So I have an art collective in Nuevo Vizcaya. Tapos I have an art collective in Baguio, although I left, I left. Um, and then I have one now in Bulacan, kami ni, ni Gary, ni Gorio, we're planning to put up a collective also, so we can help. So parang, ano ba? Wala lang, ang sarap lang yung feeling na, my God, nakatulong ka, tapos in just, in just less than a year, these people were empowered to, oh, yes, yes. And to, to teach other kids, and Make new rocks in Baguio. Alam, 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 they, they paint like crazy afterwards. Ah! <laughs> Di ba? Di ba? <laughs> so, grabe yung, ano, sabi ko, grabe. Uh, the reason why I also did that was uh, back in 2019, just before the pandemic, I started uh, January, after uh, December of 2019. Before the pandemic, I started the Artist Way group. I don't know if you believe in the Artist Way by Julia Cameron. You should check it out. <laughs> Julia Cameron. Uh, so Julia Cameron wrote a book called The Artist Way. It's ah, an, check it's it out. A, it's an artist recovery program. It's artist well, recovery we, program. Parang, um, alcoholic anonymous. Ah, program. So, ah, 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 so
They developed it, so it's a very influential book, not just in the art world, but in other, ano, kasi hindi lang naman siya for artists, it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. so, Recovery anyway, from what? I'll share it to you. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Artist way. So I put up a group, and the reason why I did that is because prior to that, a few months before that, there were so many public suicides in my community, in my... In, my in history! Community. Yung tinasabi ko kanina. People yeah. are now more like, di ba dati? Basta, ang hirap explain. So dati kinakahiya pa nila yung suicide ngayon para bang normal lang. Statement na siya at ganun. So anyway, ang feeling ko, if I just talk to that person, or if I just help that person develop her personal art practice, there would have been a buffer before, before that major decision. I felt that art will really help.